If you haven't already heard, home buyers are regaining some negotiating power in today's market. And while that doesn't make this a buyer's market, it does mean buyers may be able to ask for a little bit more. So sellers need to be ready for that possibility and know that they're willing to negotiate. Now, whether you're looking to buy or sell a house, here's a quick rundown of potential negotiations that may pop up during your transaction. That way you'll be prepared no matter which side of the deal you're on. So what can you negotiate? Most things in a home purchase are on the negotiation table. Here's a list of just a few of those options according to Kiplinger and LendingTree. Sales price. The most obvious is the price of the home and that lever is being pulled more often today. So buyers don't want to overpay when affordability is already so tight. And sellers who aren't realistic about their asking price may have to consider adjusting their price. Home repairs. Based on the inspection, a buyer is within their rights to ask the seller to make reasonable repairs. If the seller doesn't want to do that, they could offer to reduce the home price or cover some closing costs so the buyer has the money to take them on themselves. Fixtures. Buyers can also ask for appliances or furniture to convey when the house changes hands. Having the seller throw in the washer and dryer cuts down on expenses the buyer would have when moving in. As the seller, you could leave your existing ones behind to sweet the deal for your buyer and get yourself a new one for the next place. Closing costs. Closing costs typically run about 2-5% to of the home purchase price. Buyers can ask the seller to pay for some or all of these expenses to offset the cash the buyer has to bring to the table. Home warranties. Buyers can also ask the seller to pay for a home warranty. This is great for buyers worried about the maintenance costs that may pop up after taking possession of the home. And since this concession usually isn't terribly expensive for the seller, it can be a good option for both parties. Closing date. Buyers can ask for a faster or extended closing window based on their own timetable. The seller can also advocate for what they need based on their move to find the right compromise. The one thing is true whether you're the buyer or the seller, and that's how much your agent can help you throughout the process. Your agent is your go-to for any back and forth. They'll handle the conversations and advocate for your best interests along the way. As Bankrate says, agents have expert negotiating skills. Without one, you must negotiate the terms of the contract on your own. They may also be able to uncover what the buyer or seller is looking for in their discussions with the other agent. And that insight can really be valuable at the negotiation table. Buyers are regaining a bit of negotiation power in today's market. Knowing what levers you can pull will help you feel confident and empowered going into your purchase. Sellers having a heads up on what they may ask for gives you the chance to think through what you'll be willing to offer. Do you want to talk more about what you'd expect and the options you have? Let's connect. Thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and hit the subscribe button and give us a like. And we'll see you next time.